Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just have a real quick thrift haul today. I'm making chicken and broccoli and rice casserole. So I'm waiting while my chicken's cooking. I thought oh, I'll run in and do my video real quick. So let's get started. Okay. Um, this is kind of a compile, com, compilation, compilation, however you say the word, um, of, the, of a few days um, that I kind of put together for one video. So I'm going to start out with, I found, these are going to probably remind some people of when they were in school, but these are vintage melamine trays like they used to use in school. And they're, they're all marked on the back. I'm going to pick one of the lighter ones to try to read here. So there's the dark blue. There's this green. And it says on the back here. Um, yeah. Prolon. P-R-O-L-O-N wear. And um, just, they're so cool. I mean, and they're like mint condition. It's like they've never been used. I just think they're so neat. There's the third one. Let's see if I could pick it up. Maybe I could pick it up on this one. You might be able to. I doubt it. It's right in here is where the writing is. But I love the, the patterns that they put in there. I don't remember ours being this pretty. I think ours were like the, a yucky brown or something. <laughs> so food would just kind of blend with it, you know. But And then there's this green one here. Ooh. Got like swirls on it, doesn't it? So I thought those were really cute. Um, I'm probably going to put these on my Poshmark and my Etsy store. We'll see. But those are great. Great little find. Okay, what else? Um, oh, I went to Dollar General was having their, you know, mark down all their Christmas stuff. So I got some tags, some Christmas tags. There are 16 of them. They were a dollar and now they're 50 cents. And, ah, there's so much reflection, let's see, kind of tilted down. So there's those, and then there's those, and I thought, these will be great, this back of them, to put in um, Christmas journals next year, to put in little, you know, pockets that you put on the pages in some of the journals. So I just got those to save for later. And then I've already started working on some stuff for Valentine's Day, um, for, for journaling. And I found these cute little napkins that have pink and white hearts all over them, red, all different colored pinks and reds. So those would be great to decoupage in the journals. And <laughs> I thought this was so cute. It's Tigger. It's a little metal case. And inside are like tons a flashcard type thingies and on one side it's got like numbers and shapes and different things okay and on the other side it's got like colors green like a turtle and shows you the different parts of the turtle and there's numbers ones which has the whale blue whales Okay, um, little sheep, really, really cute, and I thought these will be perfect for some junk journals. Um, look at all the little red foxes, but anyways, there's all of these cards plus all of these. These were all in it, <laughs> and I was like, okay, this should supply me some cards for a while, so I shouldn't have to have to be uh, searching for those for a while. Now let's see if I can get them to fit back in there the way they were before. <laughs> and who knows, maybe I'll even make a little round journal to put inside a Tigger. Wouldn't that be cute? So that's that. Um, the next thing I found are <laughs> a couple more boxes. Okay. <laughs> the first one is um, Wedgwood. It's called Celestial Platinum, and I thought it was so pretty. Let's see if I can get close enough so you can see. It's got like a little silver scroll design. It's got silver edging on the lid, and 
plus the top of the lid. Isn't that pretty? It's got a raised bow. And there it says Wedgwood on the bottom. And inside is, um, there's like a foam. This must have been for a piece of jewelry or something because it's got a, it's got a slot thing in the middle here. And a nice ring. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, no cracks or chips or anything. I just thought that was adorable. So another box for the collection. And one more box. I'm helpless. I'm just hopeless and helpless. How's that? <laughs> this one. Love this color. It's like an emerald green. And the top is padded. And I don't know if I can get close enough. You can kind of see the sheen on it. Isn't that pretty? And it's got two braided uh, thingies up here, which comes down. There's another one here. And that's your little latch. Let me show you all the way around. String on the back. String is my, that's my life. Strings wherever I go. On the bottom. It's nice and clean. And then inside, it says Lazarus. So this was definitely a gift box uh, for something. But I just thought it was really cute. And that'll probably go up and get jewelry or something stored in it. So, nice little box. Okay, then I have some pottery pieces. Um, this one has no mark on it, but I just thought it was so cute. It's about the size for a votive candle. But it's got... Just a uh, very simplistic little design on it, but I just thought it was so cute. And, uh, and there's the inside. It's, it's um, like I said, there's no, no name or anything on that one. The next one I found was this. I thought that was really pretty. And this has that satin, what I call satin finish on it. It's real, real smooth. But yet where these... Um, fern leaves are it's like it's like impressed into the pottery and they go all the way around and there's the bottom and there's no marking on this one at all it's completely plain and then inside is that color so very very pretty piece this could hold a a, um, a nice jar candle if you wanted to set one in there and the next piece i have this is I-S-A-N pottery, i -San pottery, and it is from Thailand, but I thought this was, and it's got a couple little boo-boos on it, but you know what, I don't care. I, I just, it's part of pottery, okay? To find something in mint condition all the time is, okay? But anyway, so this is the design that they put on it. I thought that was really pretty. See, there's a little boo-boo there, and there's one on the other side. But, and then it's signed on the bottom. And you can't really see it down in there, but I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's, ooh, it gets really skinny. So you can only do like maybe a, a like some, some, just a couple stems of something coming up out of it. Or you could just enjoy it the way it is, which is probably what I'll do. But I like that it had the, the original tag with it, so. And this one is Namaji, Namaji pottery, which is uh, uh, one of the Native American tribes out west. And uh, beautiful. Love this. Look at the colors in this. Just reminds me of the desert. You know, it's a little bit of green here and there. That's the inside has a, a shiny finish. And the outside is, is your um, more rough finish. There's a little, little bit of a ridge pattern you can kind of see. And then this, let's see if I turn it this way. That's the mark on the bottom. These are, these are somewhat valuable. So I was thrilled to find that. And then this one is Rancho Feliz. Signed original. Uh, this is from New Mexico. This is native Navajo 
Indian sand art, okay? So what they did is they, they make a pot, a pot, okay, a pottery pot, and then they they paint on it with sand. So it, it, I wish you could feel it. It's You can feel the sand. It's gritty, okay? But look at the beautiful pattern and color on that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. White on the inside. And let's see. I'm assuming that maybe that's somebody's mark. I'm not sure. But anyways, gorgeous. I love pottery. Each piece is always unique. And then my last piece, um, I, I'd had for a couple years, and I forgot I had it. And it's got a little dust in it, but you know what? That's okay. We're going to show it anyway. This was uh, a friend of mine up in northern Ohio made pottery. And I used to go and buy from her at the flea market up there that she was at. But she had some really unique pieces. I mean, as you can see with this one, it's um, very abstract. Um, but I like the pattern in it. It's kind of cool. And then, of course, she signed it on the bottom. Okay. And so she just talks about uh, the different sets that she has. But her name was Julia. And uh, it's really cute. Really, really pretty piece. So that's all I have for today. And I have to go check on my chicken because it's probably boiling by now. And uh, get ready for that. So thanks for stopping by. I hope everyone had a, a good Christmas. And looking forward to a happy new year in a couple of days. And uh, appreciate you stopping by. Give me a like if you can. Um, subscribe if you haven't and please leave comments love to hear comments um, love to hear from people that makes me feel um, really blessed um, to do these videos and um, just thank you all so god bless you all and we'll see you again soon okay bye